Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Spellbinders March 2022 Card Kit of the Month. The theme is Have a Springy Day. If you are interested in subscribing to the kit, I do have links provided in the description box below. This is a monthly kit, so quantities are always limited. The only way to guarantee receiving a kit is to sign up and subscribe. Card design number one is a very simple design. I have a strip of pattern paper with lots of colorful stripes. For the background, I'm using one of the card bases. I've cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches, and I have the texture side up. I stamped the sentiment hello, put it in my mini misty to make sure I had a nice solid impression. Then I'll adhere this rainbow stripe paper above the sentiment. For a little bit of shine and contrast, I'll add some Love from Lizzie peel-offs. This is the pinstripe style in the silver color. I'm using, I believe this is the narrowest width. Just putting one along the side of that pattern paper strip. I'll wrap those ends around the back, then put some ATG tape on the back of this panel, layer it first on some light purple cardstock and then on some green cardstock. And the purple cardstock is included in the kit. I did bring in this green color. I'll put more ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll add one of the die cut pieces, this lovely floral bouquet. I am popping it up using some thin foam dimension. Just adhere that to the center of the pattern paper strip. Next, I'll be adding some Nouveau Dream Drops. This is the Fairy Wings color, really soft purple color with an iridescent finish. I'm adding random size drops and creating this diagonal line with the sentiment and that floral image. Also decided to use a clear glitter brush and add it to the flowers. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. For card design number two, I'm using the die set that's included in the kit. You can create a sweet little bunny or lamb. For my card, I'll be making a little yellow bunny. So I have the face and it cuts out the eyes, the nose, and little cheeks. Now you could cut out those pieces separately and inlay them, or you can do what I'm doing and put some glue on the back side and just add little strips of cardstock. I have black cardstock for the eyes, a darker pink for the cheeks and a light pink for the nose. For the ears, you could have both of them upright, but there's also the option to have one ear folded down, and that's what I'll be doing. I'm using the same yellow color for the main portion of the ear and light pink for the inside. To create the lamb, you use the same face. It has a different set of ears and then the fluff to go on top of the lamb's head. It's really cute. There's also a die with a small flower and a little bow. And I will be using the bow on some other cards later on in this video. I did decide to cut out the nose in that same light pink color and inlay it. I'll be attaching the little blue flower on the bunny. I used a light blue for the center of the flower. So I'll set those pieces aside and start assembling the card. I'm using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Sugar Pea Designs. It's their sugar sketch number 23. I have some fun cloud and sunshine pattern paper for the background, adding a strip of bright yellow cardstock, layered that background piece on some dark blue cardstock, and I'll add my card front onto a card base. I used some white shimmer cardstock for the stitched circle die cut. Just glue that right in the center. And this is where I'll be adding my little bunny. The very tip of the left ear will go off that circle. So I decided to pop it up using a thin foam square. I'll attach both of the ears before I adhere the head. I wanna make sure to get the placement correct. The folded ear is two separate pieces, but they line up easily. So there is my sweet little bunny. She's just adorable. I had a little bit of liquid adhesive on the right side, so I just wiped that away using my tweezers. I'll add the blue flower onto the right ear using some liquid adhesive. 
Instead of the two banners indicated on the card sketch, I'll be adding just one. I'm using that same blue cardstock and I'll adhere it in the upper right hand corner. For the sentiment, I'll be using the glitter foam stickers, lots of fun sentiments and hearts and a couple of arrows. For this card, I'll be adding the word sweet underneath the bunny. I'm using my tweezers to pop out the center of the E's and also the S. And these are so sticky. Many times the foam stickers, you need to add some liquid adhesive, but not with this set. So I'm trying to make sure to get everything centered and get that sentiment nice and straight. Luckily, you can easily pull it up right away before you press it down. I'll also add a few of the glitter hearts around the bunny. To finish off the card, I'll use the clear glitter brush, add it to the pink portion of the ears and also the bunny's cheeks. And I have some glossy accents and I'll add it to the center of the flower and also on the bunny's nose. Trying to be really careful and not getting that glossy accents outside the nose. So there is my finished card and again I did make two using this design. For the second card, I used the sentiment cute instead of sweet since there's only one of each on the sticker sheet. For card design number three, I'm using a card sketch from Sketch Saturday. This is number 560. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I use in this video, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. The link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcott.com. For the background of this card, I have this beautiful pattern paper that has lots of vases filled with lovely flowers. I'm adding a strip of yellow pattern paper that has tiny white hearts. I did use some gold Love From Lizzie peel-offs along the edge of that yellow pattern paper for some contrast and a little bit of shine. Layered that background piece on some dark blue cardstock adhered my card front onto a card base, and I did leave that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. I have some blue pattern paper with these little polka dot flowers for the oval. And since the pattern paper is on the thinner side, I did cut out a second oval and just adhered those two pieces together. For the three strips that go behind the oval, I'm using that same dark blue cardstock. These are all half inch strips and I'll just adhere them in place. Once I have that first one down, it's easy to line up the other two. Before I adhere the oval with those three strips behind it, I will use some scrap cardstock pieces, adding them above and below where those strips are on the backside of the oval. And that will just help to make sure everything stays nice and level. Just attach those using some liquid adhesive. then I can adhere this piece to the card. And it's more toward the right, just as indicated on the sketch. Now I'll be adding one of the die cut pieces. I thought this face looked really pretty on that blue pattern paper. I cut out the little bow using the die that's included in the kit and also the gold mirror cardstock. I put some double-sided tape on the back side and just a small drop of liquid adhesive. For the sentiment, I've already stamped out the word hello. I did put some scrap cardstock on the right side just to keep it nice and level. So there is my finished card. And again, I did make two using this design. And this is one of my favorite cards. But do let me know which card is your favorite. For card design number four, I'm using a sketch from Mojo Monday. This is number 513. I selected three different pattern papers have a green tone on tone for the background and also this pink wood grain with the diagonal slats. Adhere both of those on some white shimmer cardstock. I'll add some Love From Lizzie gold peel offs. These are the straight design and you'll only see about a fourth of an inch of those since it'll be covered up by that floral pattern paper. So I was able to just cut some small strips. I'll be layering this floral paper on that same white shimmer cardstock. I did round the top two corners just for a little extra detail. I'll layer those two pieces together. 
and I'll adhere this piece onto my card panel. For this sentiment, this is one that's included in the kit. I've already stamped it out. Hope this makes you smile. I think that's a great sentiment. I'll layer this piece on some light purple cardstock, and I did round those top two corners of that sentiment box also. I put some scrap cardstock on the lower portion of that sentiment before adhering it to the card. Then one final finishing touch, I'll add another gold bow. I always like to have some cards on hand that are nice and flat and won't require any extra postage for mailing. And with that beautiful pattern paper, I didn't feel the card needed anything else. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. For card design number five, the card sketch is from Sugar Pea Designs. This is their Sugar Sketch number 26. For the background of the card, I have this fun geometric pattern paper with purple, blue, and some thin yellow stripes. I'm adding a strip of purple pattern paper that has tiny bows and also some itty bitty gold foil polka dots. Layered that piece on some purple cardstock. I'm layering that background piece on some of the gold mirror cardstock that's included in the kit, and then again on that same light purple cardstock. And this purple cardstock is included in the kit. I really like the look of the thin gold mirror cardstock layer before the light purple cardstock. It adds a lovely shine. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. I usually add an additional eighth of an inch for my cardstock layers. So that background geometric pattern paper is four inches by five and a quarter inches. Then I add an additional eighth of an inch for the gold mirror cardstock and then another eighth of an inch for the very background piece. For the larger strip that's at the bottom of the card, I'm using another pattern paper. It's blue and it has some white dashes going across it. I did put some scrap cardstock pieces on the right and left side where it goes off of that purple bow pattern paper. And for that second piece, this is where I'm adding the sentiment, hey baby. I've already stamped this out using some black ink. Then I'll add this sweet little die cut piece with the two bunnies hugging. And I did put some thin foam squares on the back of this die cut image. Also adding two other die cut pieces. I have a purple heart and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a card. It has the word joy and a little heart on it. Before attaching that little joy sentiment, I'll put some scrap cardstock just on the very right side of it and then glue it next to the sentiment. The little bunny images in this kit are some of my favorite. They're so sweet. For a few finishing touches, I'll use the clear glitter brush and add it to the flowers on the pink bunny. And later, I'll also add it to the purple heart. I'm using some of the sequins that are included in the kit. It's this lovely yellow and it has an iridescent finish on it. And I like that there's two different sizes of sequins. Most of the kits I've used so far only have the larger size, but this time it has a larger and a smaller. Putting two of them in the upper left hand corner and one next to the image on the right side. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. This is another favorite card of mine. For card design number six, I'm using a sketch from MFT. This is number 81. I selected three different pattern papers. I have the gingham paper for the background, the blue paper with the little polka dot flowers, and then the strip at the front has these lovely leaf branches that have green, blue, and teal colors. It's really pretty. I'm using some peel-offs to line that leaf pattern paper. This is the silver color in the pinstripe style. Just wrap those ends around the back, layer this panel on some light blue cardstock, then I'll layer it again on some dark blue cardstock. Sometimes I love adding those two different color cardstock layers. I'll put my card front onto a card base, and for this card I won't have any of the white card base showing. I'll be adding my images in that small rectangle that's on the sketch. I'm using one of the card bases that's included in the kit. 
although I won't be using it for the card base. Instead, I'll be cutting it down for that small rectangle. And I do have the textured side out. I want to add just a little bit of color so it's not just white. I'm using the Oh Boy color by Katherine Pooler. Just putting a very light coating on the background. Focusing more in the center and not the edges of that white cardstock. Then I'll layer this piece on the same dark blue cardstock. I'll put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to my card. Now I won't be following this sketch exactly. I decided not to add the little banner on the left side. Another favorite die cut piece is this basket of lemons. I love lemons. But I thought it also looked fun to add some of the little bees. So I have the smallest bee attached to the basket handle and then I have two other bees flying above. I did put some foam dimension on the back side of all of the bees. For this card, I decided not to add a sentiment on the outside. It's always nice to have some blank cards on hand and then you can use it for any card occasion. I did put a little bit of the glitter brush on the bee's wings for that tiny bit of sparkle. So there is my finished card and this is card design number six. For card design number seven, I'm using a sketch from MFT. This is number 580. I have a lovely purple and blue floral paper for the background, adding a square of blue pattern paper with the polka dot flowers. I think this is the third card I've used this paper. I layered the blue pattern paper on some dark blue cardstock, and for that background floral paper, I'll layer it first on some light purple cardstock, and then again on that same dark blue cardstock. Really adds some lovely contrast with that dark blue. Then I'll put my card front onto a card base. Spellbinders paper collections always have such beautiful floral designs, and I like how they mix in all different styles. There's always something in there that works for everyone. Next, I'll work on the sentiment. I'll be adding it to this thin strip of purple cardstock. I already have the stamp set up in my mini Misty. Want to make sure to get a good solid impression. So I'll be stamping the sentiment, I hope today is filled with sunshine and smiles. And on the right and left side of the sentiment, I'm using this stamp that has these teeny tiny little trio of hearts. For the hearts, I used the Pixie Dust Color by Katherine Pooler. After stamping the hearts on the left side of the sentiment, I'm repositioning them to stamp on the right side. And unfortunately, I did not get them placed very nicely, so I did go and re-stamp this again off screen. So I'll cut a fishtail on both ends. When I was searching through my sketches and came across this one, I knew it was perfect for this kit. There's a large heart die cut piece and it has a foil finish grid design on the very front. It's almost the perfect size for the sketch too. Now I was going to glue it down directly onto the card. That's why I put liquid adhesive on the back. Then I remembered I wanted to pop it up using some foam dimension. So I used a scrap piece of cardstock to wipe away that liquid adhesive. So now I'll place it in the center of that blue pattern paper and I can add the sentiment strip on top. Now in the areas where it goes off of the heart, I will add some foam dimension. On the very outside edges of that banner, I'll use some thicker dimension since it is going off of that square pattern paper and cardstock layer. So I'll glue it to the card. And to finish it off, I'll add some of the sequins that are included in the kit. I'll put two of them in the upper left-hand corner and one underneath the sentiment on the right side. I am using an embellishment wand to pick those up, adding just a small drop of liquid adhesive. And I like to use the opposite end of the embellishment wand to help press those sequins down onto the card. And there is my finished card. I did make two using this design. For card design number eight, the card sketch is from MFT. This is number 578. I selected two different pattern papers. For the larger piece, I have that blue pattern paper with the white dashes and turn this direction, it looks like rain. For the bottom strip, 
This is a fun design. It has lots of colorful watering cans and little flowers. I'm adding a Love From Lizzie peel off between those two pattern papers. And this color matches almost perfectly with that blue cardstock layer. Put my card front onto a card base. I've already cut out my stitched circle die cut and trimmed it so it'll be flush to the edge at the bottom. Just glue that piece in place. I'll bring out several different die cut pieces. Have the little arrangement of flowers. At the very center of the flower has a gold foil finish. And I love this pink watering can. The water coming out is gold foil hearts, so that's really fun. The flowers I'm gluing down directly. For the watering can and the sun, I am popping those up using some foam dimension. The cloud I glued down using some liquid adhesive, and I did have the very left side going off the edge of the card. Just flipped over the card to trim that off. For the sentiment, I'm using one of the chipboard stickers. This is for you. It does have adhesive on the back, but I like to add just a little bit of liquid adhesive to make sure it won't fall off later. For a final finishing touch, I used the glitter brush and added it to the center of the sun. So there is my finished card, and this is card design number eight. Now here's another look at the 16 cards I made using Spellbinders March 2022 Card Kit of the Month. I know I generally make 20 cards using the Spellbinder kits, I was waiting on the March embossing folder for the final four cards, but due to some shipping issues, some of the influencers didn't receive the embossing folder. So I decided to just end it at 16 cards. If you are interested in Spellbinders card kit or any of their other club kits of the month, I do have links provided in the description box below. I've already posted my video using the large die of the month and it is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.